Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. Today we are going to talk about very interesting topic functions. So this is this was one of those topics which I have been waiting for to make a tutorial on this. So what is a function? A function can be defined as a set of statements organized together to perform a specific task. So what we do is we organize a few statements or, or some commands in order to function something or in order to create something in order to uh, do something. So collectively we call them as a function. So similarly in batch scripting we can group uh, logical statements together to form a function. The, the, the thing, the catch with uh, batch scripting is that there is no specific keyword like function or something but we can use call and labels to make it happen. So every uh, every function has a two has two parts so uh, let it be any language it has two parts first would be the declaration so in the declaration part is something like where you tell the compiler the function name return type and parameters and the other part is the definition so definition is something here you define your function which acts as an actual body of a function so whatever you want to organ uh, do like any any logical operation or anything you have to write in the definition parts and that's how you define it let's talk about the syntax so syntax is colon your function name your function body uh, in which you write every anything to do some uh, anything to do in the exit code so this exit slash p is really important let us walk through this what it is it exactly is so exit slash p at the end of the batch file will stop execution of the batch file so whatever batch file you are executing this because of this command it will be it will come to an end because it will stop the execution use exit slash b exit code at the end of the batch file to return custom return code so if you have some kind of custom return return codes or existing one that can be returned through this command the third part use exit slash b error level it contains the latest error level of the batch file so whatever the batch file has, if it has, if it has some kind of uh, error levels, then it can be taken care from this error level. And there are two parts. How do you call a function and how do you return a value? So we use call keyword to invoke any function. So if there is any function written and you want to call it, make sure that you are, your script has call keyword in it. And you can just pass a document uh, argument to it or you can just call it like that. We'll see in the demo today. Return values. It should be always the exit code of the function. The caller reads error levels to get the exit code. So we'll see in the demo how is it done. So let's move to the demo part. So as you can see on my screen, we are going to talk about four scripts today. In the first one, we'll talk about how to create a function. In the second one, parameterize function. In the third one, return value. And in the fourth one, the variables local and the global both. So let's move on to first script. So in the rem part, I have explained what exactly is happening over here. So what you can see that what set local does is it starts the localization of environment uh, in a batch file. So localization continues until a matching end local command is encountered or at the end of batch file. So sometimes what happens is you set some kind of a value and it could be a system variable or any kind of variable. So end local ends the scope of it. And it does not let that uh, value go to the uh, system variable, any kind of variable. So that's why we use uh, set local or end local. And in set local and end local, the value sustains only there. I mean, it does not go outside of that scope. So the scope ends of a, of a variable there only. So what we are trying to do in this program, let's unrem it. Echo off is the first thing set local which I've already explained. How does we create, how do we create a function? So the function is created over here, but the first step is to call that function. So when we are calling that function, we have to give colon and the name of that function. The function name is show value. Sometimes people call function as a method as well. So do not get confused if some I somehow say it's a method or a function or something. And exit slash p error level, okay. Now, as soon as the control comes, it will call show value function. The control will go here. It will set slash a age equal to 30. As I've already told that if you have to work on numerical values, we all, all, always need slash a. And then age will be assigned a value of 30. 
Now then after that, it will go to echo and it will echo the value of age, which is 30. And then it exists B and return the error level or error code to the program, it's, uh, the call itself, and then it exits the program. So there is nothing much in this program. We clean this and let's run this. It's the starters. I think I should go in this folder first. Then I have to use CD functions. So it starts from 08 tab and it is VRM functions. Okay, cool. Let's clean this and run this. So you can see the value of age is 30. So it's a very basic script in which we are writing a function and calling from here. And what we are doing is just assigning a value and printing it. Let's move on to parameterize function. So in this function, you can see that there are four values we are passing in terms of arguments. And these arguments we are catching over here. So one, two, three, four is the first argument, second argument, third, and the fourth argument. Now, what is happening over here is when control comes over here, it calls the show param method or a function with four values. Now this show param will have all these four values and it will catch it in the form of arguments. So as soon as it, come, as soon as it comes here, it will echo the value of parameter 1 is 10, 2, 20, 3, 40 and 4, 40. Sorry, 3, 30, 4, 40. And then it exits and gives the error code to it and it exits the program. So let me clean this and let us run 0 2. Enter 10, 20, 30, 40 is the value. So it's again a basic program. The only difference between last script and this script is the value or uh, this argument value is passed as soon as we call the function and the previous program, we were just calling the function. So both ways you can call. Let's move on to return value function. So what we are doing here is we are set calling set my value function which is defined over here. This is the first argument. This is the second argument. It's in a form of str. Uh, no, it's it's just variable, not str. We are echoing it over here. But do not think that when the control comes over here, why does not why 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 didn't it go to this echo? Why did it go over here? That's how it works. When you call a method, the control goes over there. It does not trace every step. It directly goes to set my value. Then we are setting a value in of the first argument, which is first value to 50, and the second argument value is 100. So now first value is 50, second value is 100. And then we are exiting. As soon as we exit, this will return this to these two values. And when, once it returns it, it will echo the first value, which is 50, and the second value, which is 100. So let's run this program. Let's clean this. I hit a tab on my keyboard, enter, and the value is printed 50. If you want to create one more, so you can all you can do is give a comma, comma over here, write third value. Just echo third value. Give a third over here. Save it, assign some value, let's say set, percentile, tilde, third, because it's a third argument, equal to, we are giving 200 over here. Let's save it and let's let it run once again. And you can see, this is how we play around the values. Moving on, we'll go to the variable section. Now, the first step is again echo of. We are setting a string which is outside. We are setting and echoing it. We are not calling a function right now. So we'll just echo it. Let me clean this. In the other fourth line, we are calling set my value str. We are passing an argument. And we have to catch it over somewhere. So as soon as I call it, it the control will go over here. It will set local and end local. So whatever value I set will stay here only. It won't go outside. So once it get, gets called, the str has a value of inside and this str will be on the first argument. Ideally, what has to be done? This 
outside has to go inside but we are setting a value in this str in the set local in the end local so now this str has a value of inside and when we echo it it is inside now as soon as the control returns from here ideally it should have given what value outside uh, sorry inside but now it will give outside because it does not matter what what value we set between set local and end local because the scope ends over here for this str so let me run this and let's see what happens 0 4 enter so outside inside and outside let's circle back to the program again and see what is happening the str value has been set outside now we are echoing this str so i think this outside is clear in the next step it's calling set my value so the control goes over here it's setting local value and end local inside that we have a value of inside now we are printing that inside now the second value comes out to be inside which is justified because it has a scope over here now in the third when it returns the value to this str why is it not inside because the scope is still here only the value will become outside out of this set local and end local and that's why when the control comes over here it will print outside so i hope you guys have understood it if you have any issue please feel free to comment and we'll address the issue thanks guys and i'll see you in the 